a thousand and a half receiving yards. That's what the line is. That's um, high. He had thirteen forty three last year. The year before that, he had ten fifteen. So he would have surpassed that number in each of the last two years. So that number is on par with DK Metcalf, on par with um, Devontae Adams. So we're talking second round, third round. Basically, when we look at these player props, what we're thinking right now as far as fantasy is, is it giving us a cheat code to kind of say, hey, this guy's been going into first round, but his player props kind of suggest second round or this guy's been going second round, but his player props indicate Vegas is a little bit higher on him than the fantasy community. Right now, I don't know that we necessarily want to wager on any of these season long player props. Here's why. Are you really going to tie up your bankroll for five months? For a minus 110 payout? No, you're not going to do that. It's ridiculous. It's a stupid way to spend your money. Sorry, I said it. The only kind of future you want to take at this point is something like, what if you had had the Texans to win their division last year? That would have paid you really well. You probably would have gotten paid 7 to 1, 10 to 1. I can't remember. But those are the kind of bets you want to make right now as far as futures. So the only thing right now as far as I'm concerned, you're using these player totals for is to help you make tiebreaker decisions in your fantasy drafts. Oh, interesting. 